So now I'm going to introduce Dr. Heil, and he will take it over on toxic gas generation, some of the research he's done, and will share with us. Very good. Thanks, Dr. Pate. Let me uh, give a shot at sharing my screen here. So I think this is a great opportunity. I'm privileged to be part of this webinar. Um, and it's a great opportunity for me to present some findings from a project we had a few years ago. Uh, it's regarding uh, gypsum use in, in dairy bedding. Uh, I also want to cover, cover some of the dangers of hydrogen sulfide. It is a very deadly gas at, at low concentrations. And I want to wrap up with uh, some safety precautions and considerations when agitating manure. I think we're all aware of gypsum or drywall. Um, manufacturing and construction waste can be reprocessed and uh, into a useful agricultural product. Ag gypsum is very prevalent in agriculture. A lot of farmers apply it to their fields. Uh, it's great for secondary nutrients such as calcium and sulfur and also helps a lot with the soil structure. Another ideal use for gypsum is uh, adding it to bedding for dairy cows. It's an ideal moist, it's an ideal bedding product because uh, it absorbs moisture. It's inorganic, so it has low bacteria counts, and it's a neutral pH, so it's not caustic to the animals. Here in Pennsylvania and some of the neighboring states, we've had some issues with a lot of close calls and uh, uh, deadly incidents with farms that use manure gas, uh, the farms that use gypsum, gypsum as bedding. This is a picture from a photo that was taken, uh, a farmer in one of our Pennsylvania counties. Father began, began agitating his manure storage. A few minutes later, walked around the side of the pit and found his two young boys passed out and blew in the face. Uh, cat, thankfully, both these boys were rescued uh, and taken to safety. However, this is not the case in, in all the instances that we've heard about. This led us to a stud, this project that we wanted to start investigating uh, hydrogen sulfide from, man, from manure storages that, that contain gypsum bedding. Uh, gypsum is calcium sulfate. Uh, it provides a sulfate source when in an uh, anaerobic uh, storage environment uh, can produce sulfide. And in the pH range that we're looking at with dairy manure, hydrogen sulfide is very prevalent. Um, hydrogen sulfide, I mentioned at the beginning of my presentation that it's very deadly gas at, at low concentrations. You'll see a couple limits here that might be a good idea to keep in mind as we proceed through this presentation. There's a permissible exposure limit or ceiling at 20 parts per million. Uh, it's not recommended that anybody has exposure over 20 parts per million throughout their work day. If there are no other uh, exposures, you can go up to 50 parts per million, but not for more than 10 minutes. And like I said, that's for no exposures, no other exposures throughout the work day. And another important number, hydrogen sulfide is immediately dangerous to life and health at 100 parts per million. So just some key numbers to keep in, in mind there as we go through some of this, some of these results and observations. Uh, I think this picture tells a very good story. This is a picture of manure storage during agitation. Uh, it was during one of my farm visits, and you can see all the gas bubbles escaping, escaping the surface of the manure storage. Uh, this is during agitation, and you can imagine all the gases that were trapped inside the manure storage. Um, once the uh, manure is agitated or begins to move, all, the, all those gases are allowed to escape. If those bubbles do contain hydrogen sulfide, you can imagine a lot of hydro, hydrogen sulfide and any other manure gases escaping all at one time, causing a big bloom and dangerous levels of hydrogen sulfide. For our project, we took portable monitoring devices, placed them around the perimeter of the manure storage, and measured hydrogen sulfide concentrations um, just before agitation started and for about an hour during agitation. These are our results. Um, we tested three categories. We tested farms, manure storages at farms that did not use gypsum in their bedding. We tested farms that used gypsum in their bedding, and we tested farms that used just gypsum in their bedding, along with some sort of treatment or additive in, in the manure that was reported to reduce hydrogen sulfide. First thing I want to point out is that red line on each of the three charts representing the categories is 
be immediately dangerous to life and health. That's 100 parts per million. And you can see right away that the five non-gypsum farms didn't even come close to the 100 parts per million. There was still a little bit of hydrogen sulfide contained in these uh, manure storages, but didn't uh, reach the elevated levels that the other categories did. So you can see the first 20 minutes there was very low hydrogen sulfide concentrations and as soon as we began agitation which is represented by that 20 minute mark the two lower charts the gypsum farms and the gypsum farms, farms that used some sort of treatment in their manure started uh, uh, explosive concentrations of, of hydrogen sulfide. So as soon as we started moving and agitating the manure, the hydrogen sulfide concentrations really be, became elevated. Another observation we collected is personal monitoring devices. We put one on all of our, all of our operators. And despite what we saw at the manure perimeter, um, 14 out of our 18 operators did not exceed 20 parts per million of hydrogen sulfide, which is the permissible exposure limit. This is great. We typically saw operators or farmers in, their, in the cab of their tractor, doors closed, they're elevated off the ground, and they're operating the controls of their agitator uh, you know, away from the perimeter of the manure storage. A couple of our operators, four out of 18 of, of the sites we visited, were exposed to hydrogen sulfide above 20 parts per million, which is the ceiling limit for an eight-hour workday. And you can see a couple even approached well over 100, which is immediately dangerous to life and health, and even three times that, got up to about 300 parts per million. What we saw were operators uh, working at the perimeter of the manure storage, um, gentlemen on the on the left-hand picture was manually pointing his agitator by hand. Gentleman in the in the lower right picture was in the cab of his tractor with his closed door, but he had some technical issues and had to reach out over the manure storage. And this was while the agitation agitator was going. And and both of these gentlemen received some high high levels of concentrations for hydrogen sulfide. One of the other observations we collected during this project, we set up a couple other devices about 10 meters downwind of the manure storage during agitation. 10 meters away from the manure storage, we found elevated levels of hydrogen, elevated levels of hydrogen sulfide. So there's a risk of exposure even 10 meters away. Um, so which leads us to some of the conclusions. Uh, when you're working around a farm, particularly farms that use gypsum in their bedding, uh, there's in, increased hydrogen sulfide concentrations. And these begin typically when we start moving or, or mixing or agitating the manure. This is real, where the real safety concerns uh, are going to be. Um, we've seen from the operator exposure that safety practices can really lower your risk, risk of exposure. Uh, stay in the cab of your tractor, keep the door shut, be elevated off the ground if you can. If you can't be, you might want to shut the agitator down. Um, you know, just be aware of your surroundings and your environment. Um, and we also saw a risk of exposure even 10 meters away from, from the manure storage, especially during agitation. So some of our recommendations, particularly during manure agitation, unnecessary people and animals should avoid being near the manure storage area. If you don't have to be near the manure storage, don't be near it. Don't let your kids near it, play, be playing near it, and don't, don't let your animals around, around it. Um, Operators, if you can, limit your time near manure storage, avoid low-lying areas. Um, if you can, be elevated, be upwind, um, especially during times of agitation. And the biggest, I think, take-home point that I want to point out is, is personal monitoring devices. Wear a personal monitoring device. Um, for about the price of a cell phone, uh, you can, it's a small device that you can clip to your belt or, or your, your jacket, and it can beep an alarm. And, and vibrate and give you a warning whenever there's a dangerous environment uh, uh, going to be present. Um, so it's a very small price for, for uh, you know, some life insurance here. Um, my last slide, I want to uh, present some companies that manufacture these portable gas safety instruments. This, this is not an exhaustive list, but these are six of the bigger companies. Um, the phone number is there, and I have a, a link to their online uh, web page. Give these folks a call. They're experts at what they do. They do short and long-term rentals. 
uh, or you can purchase the instrument outright. Um, so again, uh, very, very uh, important safety device that you can have that will warn you to uh, leave the area if you need to.